Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna look up jerking off dogs Help me. on my phone. Help me. <laughs> Coming on through. Hey babe, guess what? I'm sleeping on the couch tonight. <laughs> I should get a discount. I masturbate every day after work. Smell this. <laughs> Does it smell like one? I don't know, man. <laughs> it smells own. like a bubble, dude. <laughs> Good afternoon and welcome to Straight Garbage Podcast. I'm John, your humble host. <laughs> humble host. You know what you sound like? You sound like uh, this is uh, Steve Anderson with that shooting show. <laughs> I've listened to so many fucking podcasts. Dude, he, he sounds like the guy that would come over to the loudspeaker in a fucking hotel like, come get your breakfast. <laughs> Stop fucking in the elevator. <laughs> the... Uh, uh, continental breakfast will be ending at 9.30. You have 15 minutes to vacate your room and come enjoy come. a continental <laughs> breakfast. Come, come and then enjoy? Like, pause every time you say a questionably dirty word. Come and enjoy breakfast. <laughs> you, have to, you have to, like, plan that, though. Too. <laughs> right. It's like it's, a- it's the stupidest thing ever. So I was watching this thing about hotels. Well, not about hotels. Anyways, fucking, you guys ever watch fucking Ross's vlog creations? Probably not. Oh. Did, yeah, the Ross creation shit. Yeah, That's did he really fucking good. did one inside the a hotel? And he he fucking built a toaster that just launches the toast like 10 oh, feet yeah, in the yeah. air. I and it has a spinning microwave. <laughs> I fucking watched that the other day. I I don't watch them for a long time, and then I like just binge watch all of those. And fucking, that was so funny when the, to- the shit just launches out there. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> the microwave starts spinning, and they're like, oh shit, what? <laughs> you ever go to the places where you could uh, like make your own waffles and shit? Like that? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I haven't seen those in a long time. It's probably because fucking huh. retards are like. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Ow. <laughs> Wait, this burned me. Or the, where, so, would, where would you go to do that? It was like the like old hotel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like yeah. they had waffle makers yeah. and you'd have like all the shit and you'd just be like, yeah. you get now a little they make cup of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah uh, fuck. Or, oh, uh, so I was told, like, uh, I heard it on Bob and Tom's show. So. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. So, like, they, uh, the stewardesses and shit. Would go like when they go to hotels and stuff. They had nowhere to wash their underwear, so they'd use the coffee pot. Steam it, gross. Use Hell the yeah. fucking coffee pot. So ever since then, I'm the wife's like, I'll make my own coffee. Like, Fuck you! I'll go down. I'll go down to the lobby, grab some coffee. Yeah, the old Leave turn them turn them long. inside out, and they're good for another week. Doesn't work when it's a fucking shoestring. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, if I ever find one of those hotels that has a fucking a waffle maker, I'm gonna go outside and look for a dog turd. So, <laughs> so I I just found this out too, is that like if you get somebody that's like like really religious and I'm I'm I mean, you know I believe but whatever, um we don't want to go down that rabbit hole again. Yeah. But anyway, I guess like he uh, somebody that's like really religious, like a pastor or whatever, he'll take like a twenty or fifty and throw it in the Bible. So like you grab the yeah, Bible, for snorting coke and and you grab the shit. Bible and spin through it, and you can find twenty or fifty bucks in the Bible. Yep. And I'm not saying every time, but just. If somebody happens to stay where in they, that room, where do they hide this Bible, dude? Yeah, I know. I'm like, what? What church? Is, <laughs> what church? I've, ne- I've never <laughs> found one though. I've always looked. I've never found one, and I've always I was told like the salesmen's back in the days, the '70s and '80s, they would take a like they buy a Playboy a hustler, and then they would take it and like stuff it between the mattresses for the next salesman to come through. <laughs> 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 I fucking ripped the whole book in half on accident. Right. Oops. As long as you get one photo, that's all that matters, right? There's been a lot of sales this year. What is with that? Like, who comes on the fucking playbook? Dude, I don't know. Yeah. He's like, yeah, fucking take that. Yeah. Guys with no self control. <laughs> You ever, you ever? I got it in your eye, and you didn't even fucking blink. <laughs> I'd say you ever click the keyboard on any of your kids' uh, <laughs> laptops. Uh, no. That's why you have the the, the phone now. It's the personal phone. Oh fuck! There's, only, there's like seven keys on this goddamn laptop. Don't work. <laughs> yeah. I was wondering, yeah. and then when I looked at the letters, it spelled out masturbating. Of course. <laughs> 
Who, uh, who Google searched boobs? <laughs> it must have been one of them. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I've, like I said, I've, I've tried to... I've, I don't really think about it when I'm... So when, when we're there, you know, uh, staying in the hotel. And then I'm like, oh, fuck, I should have checked out the Bible and see if I had any money in it. You know so what? I, I've only done it to, like, maybe three or four. I, and I've never found no money. I've looked in, like, probably, like, 40 or 50 Bibles. It's scary. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. There's no ink yeah. on like the last ten pages for a reason. Robert's like, "Yep, I'm going to hell." <laughs> yeah. It's official. <laughs> Somebody's got to make like a like a Bible with the cutout of the pages. You open it up and it's like a dildo in there. Oh yeah. <laughs> Buy one of those and just leave it in the hotel room. The only problem is you you don't get the like. I guess unless you hide a camera in there, but you don't yeah. get the reactions from people. Like they did back in the day, they'd hide a pistol in the Bible. So there was a crash on my way back here. Yeah? Yeah. Some dude shooting a fucking radiator fluid out the front. I was like, oh, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, that might be me soon. So going back to that, uh, um, you know, going to hell thing. So I sent this to Josh earlier. It's like, people with tattoos will not go to heaven. People who drink alcohol will not go to heaven. People who eat too much pork will also not go to heaven. Short people will not go to heaven. The deepest circle of hell is reserved for tattooed, bacon-loving, alcoholic midgets. <laughs> <laughs> Which sucks, because I don't qualify. <laughs> I'm not a midget. <laughs> if I have my legs cut off at the knees, you could be, does uh, that qualify? Mm, probably yeah. not. You're probably still like a Norwegian hill giant. Does it say you could still be taller than me? <laughs> <laughs> I think you'd first have to go and get a new license and have them record your height as like without prosthetics. You got to get like so an you actual could be legally shot. under like right. three foot eight or yeah. whatever. The my license is. picture ooh, will just be that. the blank screen and like the top of my head. Corey's yeah. like, ooh, I don't even have to bend down anymore. <laughs> I was gonna say, if you get your legs cut off at the knees, you could just get longer prosthetics and be taller. I could be six foot. You could just well, why stop there? I don't think I could be six five. I don't think it you ever see that, that South Park episode? Uh-uh. I don't think it works that way. You're just gonna like go to the the guy that tailors your your suit and like yeah. he's measuring yeah. your wife like just up to her mouth. <laughs> Have you, there's a there's a South Park episode where uh, Kyle wants to play basketball, so he wants to be taller, so he goes and he gets a Negro pasty. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> they, they literally break his legs and like, nice. extend them. <laughs> have you seen that where they do that for midgets? No. They have like a like they break their leg and they have like braces on each side, so the bones actually separated, and then every day you click and spread it just a little bit. Fuck. So it grows back. Yeah, and then the next day you spread wow. it just a little bit. Wow. So it's like the teeth thing, but for legs. The teeth thing? Yeah, because your, your kid had the teeth thing. Where you had oh, the, yeah, yeah, the expanders? Yeah. Yeah. Same thing. Weird. It's fucking brutal. I wonder if I could do that to, like, Ashley's dog. <laughs> like, make it big again. But like, they still have weird dimensions. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Looking like a fucking long daddy long leg. <laughs> With a giant dome piece. <laughs> you just got this four foot tall dog that's only a foot long. A right. foot long. <laughs> now you fucked up. Your dick no longer drags on the ground. Oh, man. <clears throat> Dude, did you guys watch that thing? With nope. those, those two midgets sitting side by side? And they were asking him, like, what's the wildest thing you ever did? And the dude's like... Oh, this and that. And then the girl goes like, yeah, they were like passing me around and stuff and like spinning me around and like just throwing me. And the guy's like, what the fuck? They probably just only like just had normal sex, I guess. And she's like, yeah, I was kind of fun. <laughs> I would go pay to go watch midget tossing. You ever seen that where they like put them in the mm-hmm. Velcro the, suits? The Velcro suit no with like way. the handles. <laughs> Didn't somebody get in trouble for that a while back? I don't know. Probably. I'm sure someone got offended. That's yeah. not even. I think that's what it was. Someone just got offended. They probably yeah. threw the wrong midget. Maybe that wasn't yeah. participating. <laughs> <laughs> What's his name? That's a stand-up comedian. That's a midget. Wee man. Is that or, it? No, well, there's another guy that is. And he's like, he's like. He goes, they say midget's offensive. He's like, fuck those fucking faggots. <laughs> he's, he's, just like, like, he's hardcore, too, dude. He's, like, hilarious. Isn't that the same guy that plays on, like, 
is it like Game of Thrones or something like that? That that actor that's guy, that's Peter oh, Dinklage. Yeah, yeah, that guy. That's who I'm thinking of. Yeah, no. I can't. But I know there's another one. That dude's funny. There's yeah. only like three midgets. <laughs> there's only three. <laughs> I don't know. They're so little, I can't what count. What about Willow? <laughs> what about Willow, dude? What the fuck is that? Well, Bridget the uh, Midget. Bridget the Midget. Ah! <laughs> She's a porn star. Um, <laughs> She's fucked. I might, I might not know her by name, but I think I've seen some of her work. Directed <laughs> <laughs> by M. Night Shyamalan. <laughs> dude. She's taking cock finger and she is yeah. just like, holy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is an interesting mashup. Matchup. I've never seen a sperm fountain before. I think it would be funny to get like um you ever hear like those Pablo Francesco like Francisco? French yeah, whatever for the things but like get somebody like that to like dub over a porno. Like this like when she surmounted the pole. <laughs> <laughs> She walked into his room, but he was already naked. <laughs> he does. He's a comedian that does like, uh, you know, the movie movie preview voice guy. In a world. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah Dan Cummins just was like addicted to doing his voice like two weeks ago, three weeks ago. Oh, yeah. oh what a fucking loser, man! Someone already did that. Yeah. <laughs> in a world you must fight to survive he sold tortillas on the corner and the mob wanted in listen to me I don't know who this guy is but I want the tortillas <laughs> <laughs> he had one chance and his chance was to fight back get down <laughs> double the action get down again <laughs> Anyways, if you want to know what we're talking about, look up Pablo Francisco Little <laughs> Tortilla, Tortilla Boy. Boy. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Thank me later. <laughs> yeah. I only know about uh, Don Francisco. It's coffee. <laughs> okay. Huh. It's okay. just, it's really good coffee. There's only one name in coffee, and that is Juan Valdez. I don't know. Folgers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who she is, but Don Francisco has, like... Uh, toffee coffee with little toffee chunks in it. Oh. Mm. So when you put it in your coffee maker, it fucking drips real toffee in there. Actually, that, that sounds kind of awesome. Yeah, it's really I would think good. you probably need to use like a fancy coffee maker. <laughs> no, nope, like a, a, Yeah, just, not your underwear cleaning <laughs> one you stole from a fucking <laughs> hotel. So, so it's, it's kind of making me nervous because uh, what was in that bottle before I was like Sperm? something was dripping in there. <laughs> Just don't worry about it, guy. <laughs> Dude, Dude, it's done and over. It's with. all washed out. If you said you put Everclear in there, so I did put Everclear in there. That has well, killed anything that's growing inside of us. <laughs> Even baby, I nice shit out your Robert, baby. <laughs> Robert. I don't have your wife drink it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, gotta catch them all. Is she gonna? Is she gonna <laughs> take it rectally or? Wow. Whatever you want, dude. <laughs> Holy shit! Okay, let's move on. <laughs> Just don't worry about it, Jay. I know. Don't worry. That's all legit, though. Did you eat my meat too? <laughs> eat your meat. Oh yeah, your your brisket. Yeah. <laughs> brisket. Yeah, fucking Dahmer over here. Probably, yeah. <laughs> Probably a flay off that fucking dead horse that he found out in this fucking pasture. Oh, it was definitely human. <laughs> Have you watched that yet? I think mean, it was good. We're watching it. Oh, I haven't watched it yet, but I keep seeing all like the no, meme references to it, and I'm like, Did... it's pretty slow. It, I was just pretty I was trying to going. like go to sleep yesterday, and then like so I t- and I turned it on because it was like an episode I seen before, and like he just like was jerking off and shit and I was like oh me too <laughs> <laughs> I win <laughs> I'm faster so I'm is it like, okay but did you did you think of fucking body organs with that nice sheen well yeah comb? I was trying to do it just like Dahmer I was yeah. doing the Dahmer <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so is it like uh, like comedic like human centipede or no no it's just like telling the story of him oh. It almost slightly makes you feel bad for him, which is weird. 
Yeah. Not really. Not really what? Doesn't make you feel bad <laughs> for him? Or... No. I had shitty parents, too. He's just a shitty guy. He, maybe you just haven't got caught yet. I thought his parents were good to him. No. 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 His mom straight up left him, took the other kid. Yeah, she's like basically like, you don't fucking matter. You're a teenager now. <laughs> Figure it out. And yeah. then his dad's like, I got another whore. Fuck yeah. you. Stay here and no. do whatever you want. Dude, he's like, yeah. His dad shows up at one point in the movie, like he hasn't seen him in three months. And he's like, hey, what's up? Nada. He's like, where's your mom? She left. When? Like three months ago. What? That bitch? <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker, you left three months ago, too. <laughs> Well, see you later. you like that bitch. <laughs> you also bitch. <laughs> this tastes like rice water. When you boil rice and then you just drink the water and you, throw the rice in the garbage. You drink what? Yeah, have you have you done that? <laughs> <laughs> Is this real, dude? Why does that not fucking surprise me? Right? Like in the least. <laughs> But, uh, don't want to waste it. Dude, I guarantee you. I guarantee you this guy, when he makes macaroni and cheese, goes through all the trouble to get the pan, yeah, like boil the water, like, cook like the Heineken noodles. <laughs> then he fucking throws away the noodles and then just eats the fucking cheese powder. Sometimes. Swish some I mean, noodle water in there. Right? It, it, Why didn't you just eat the cheese powder? Why'd you go through all the trouble to make the fucking noodles? <laughs> <laughs> fucking dumb fuck. I mean, it's happened. That's what I'm saying. You got to keep them on their toes, man. <laughs> like when we have no dishes left, like it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You guys don't throw your dishes away? You're like, this one's too hard to clean. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't come off with water. No, I do this thing where I like put them in the sink and I let them soak. I let them soak and then magically I come back and they're all <laughs> cleaned up and put away. Oh. I gotta get me some magic. <laughs> I need one of those sinks. Whenever you're home with the kids, I'm just like, go see it. Like, There's a lot of stuff in the sink. I'm like, hey kids, we're going to Dairy Queen. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds expensive. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Every place is expensive. It is. You can't even go to McDonald's anymore. <clears throat> yeah, the dollar menu is more like a six ninety five menu. Yeah. I went to Taco Bell the other day, and you know what? Normally, ten years ago, fifteen years ago, you would have gotten even like. This would have been a four ninety nine like <laughs> meal with thirty seven tacos and that it was like eighteen dollars. I was like, right? You yeah. got like three items, and like, I was still fuck? hungry. I'm like, God damn it. Yeah, you can literally go get Chinese food for fucking twenty dollars for two people. Yeah, like, dude, I think buffets are gonna be the way to go. Well, yeah, when they come back, they're yeah. gonna come back <clears throat> now. We still have, was the China buffet closed. Uh, it, I think it's, well, I haven't been there in a while, but last time I was there after COVID, they only had their Mongolian fucking shit on a platter mm. thing. Oh, you guys are Benno. What is that fucking place called, Coeur d'Alene? It's Red, like... Red Benno? You go in there... <clears throat> Red Robin. They, no, 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 it's, <laughs> it's like... I, don't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't call it a... Fukuyama. You, you just go in there and you still shit on a plate and it's not even cooked yet. And then they just grab it and then they cook it. Mongolian barbecue. That's it. Yeah. Dude, that shit... <laughs> Is that, is that right? Or no, is that, am, I, am I wrong? Uh, I've only ate there once. There's like, one up in Moscow, too. I told the wife, I said, fuck you have to that. Go I'll never go back. That. What? Why? Dude, I, I didn't know what I was getting. Fucking, there was this and that. He just got three noodles. It's all fucking frozen. <laughs> and I didn't even make it halfway home. I'm like, pull over. I'm, like, I'm fucking shit in the woods. Pull the fuck over. What? Yeah. I was like, fuck that. I told her, I was like, I'll never go back. She just loves it. That's her favorite. Dude, that shit is awesome. Dude, yeah. that, the one band, I think that'd be cool. Did they cook it for you? Yeah. Okay. The yeah. one time that I tried to go to the Mongolian thing, I was like, I don't know, like 11. And like the meat that they have here or had, it looked like the little pork and rice mustard shit. I just eaten raw meat. <laughs> <laughs> the guy comes up and he's like, no. And I was like, Good. Nom nom. And he's like, no, stop. No. Nom nom. There's a, he's like, not cook. And I couldn't understand him. Nope. Like, nom nom. So this much is salmonella. Good shit. No, it's not salmon. <laughs> that might be what's wrong with your bee hole, bud. <laughs> no, it was buffalo wild wings. <clears throat> okay. And I didn't know, For honestly, sure. it, honestly, I would love to go back if somebody was there with me because the wife knew what she likes, but it's a lot of rice. And I fucking hate rice. 
But it'd be nice to like what sauces to grab. You know what I mean? I was just like, Jay, do you have the same problem I, just, I have? I just throw a bunch of meat on the fucking plate, and then I'm like, yeah, this sauce looks somewhat good. And then they cooked it. You know what I hate just, about that though? Is the chunks of meat you put in your bowl are like literally oh, yeah. they, they look like a five up. inch round disc, yeah. and then it shrinks up to like a fucking flake from cereal. Like your penis, <laughs> but it takes yeah. the, the, the whole fuck? fucking bowl. Yeah, and it was like the one I don't know. Right when you first come into Coeur it's on the right, and uh, it was a buffet, so you can get more in one bowl. Dude, I was like, I was so disappointed. I didn't even go get a second. So I was like, just pull over at the fucking gas station, and get me a burrito on the way home. Are you I sure that's it. why you didn't? Yeah, that's why you did Could have not mixed well with the food that I had in my stomach. Who knows? Gas but. station burrito is usually a, yeah. you know, or a solid culinary mm-hmm. choice. But, Dude, I don't know. I, I, we're I used to it. So here. I, I finally, oh, I didn't stop at McDonald's. <laughs> I didn't stop at McDonald's Sunday morning on the way up to the shoot. And I didn't have to, like, hold in a shit all day. <laughs> it was kind of nice. Weird. Could just use the bathroom, you know. Dude, no. <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> That's the first thing I did when I got there. I was like, oh, everyone's working on stuff. I better shit. <laughs> That'd be the one thing. Like, by the time I get there, there's everyone, like, hanging out outside the thing. Dude. That's all I want them to hear is like, ah! Oh, no. <laughs> so, we go up. We For go how up. little you care, I'm just surprised how much you care. Yeah. <laughs> I've always had a thing with public bathrooms since I was a kid, so. I have the same way. But we go up, we go up to uh, our hunt spot. And we're looking for a place to camp, so we can set our tents up and stuff to kind of save the spot for this coming up weekend. And uh, right now, yeah, it start it opens next week. But anyway, uh, so we get to the spot, and I'm like, I got my ex hunt on, and I'm like, dude, it says it's potlatch land. And he goes, dude, I'm pretty sure it's state land. I'm like, eh, my fucking phone says it's potlatch, you know. So we're like looking around, and he goes, oh look, somebody put it. In. <laughs> my buddy goes, somebody put a, because uh, it's the huge clear cut, so you can like see everywhere. So he put a deer stand in. I'm like, I don't know if that's a deer stand, bro. And he goes, are you fucking kidding me? Why would they put, it's the middle of nowhere. Why would somebody put in a shitter, you know? And I'm like, I'm just saying by the shape of it, it looks like a shitter. And he's like, he opens the door, he's like, Oh, oh, yeah, that's a shitter. And, and he, he, goes, it there. he goes, he goes, dude, honestly, he goes, they didn't even dig a hole. And he goes, it piled up to the toilet. Oh. And he goes, he goes, your balls would touch it if you sat down on it. I'm like, oh, my. I didn't look. I didn't look. I was like, all right, cool. I'll take your word for it, bro. Right. <laughs> Let's go find some state land. <laughs> When yeah. I worked at Rotorooter, I had a lady that did that. Oh, fuck. Her toilet was plugged, and they kept shitting in it till it was <laughs> up. It was a mountain up and out of the fucking thing. Like, they just hovered over it and shit. Wow. Dude. Yeah. Yeah. What do you do then? And like I said, I didn't, get, I didn't look at it. I was like, what? whatever, I'll take your word for it, bro. Right. <laughs> so. Well, I was looking at it, and I'm like, because normally, like, we would suck shit out of a shop vac and pull the toilet. <laughs> I didn't want to. I didn't want to. I didn't want that in my shop back for one. <laughs> Two. I was almost leery about running my snake through it. <laughs> so I just. <laughs> <coughs> so I, I literally, I just sat there and stared at it for a while, and I was like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna try floating it <laughs> and get my snake under it." So I flushed the toilet, but I was there, you know, to shut the valve off before it overflowed. So I flushed it, and she's like. You know to shut the water off, so it's just this fucking like massive. It looks like a fucking Hawaiian volcano <laughs> island, just like floating in the middle of this toilet bowl. <laughs> Bitch, why did you call me three days ago? Right? <laughs> oh, shit. I ran that snake down it, and I don't know how this motherfucker flushed. Like, it fucking did though. Like, did, did your you're... snake get all stuck, and you're like, ah, must hit a hard one. <laughs> <laughs> I. Let's Dude. just say I flushed that toilet like 20 times trying to rinse my snake off before Jeez. I pulled it out of there. But So yeah. how do you not be able to use a public toilet but do that job? Because it wasn't his shit. it's not my shit. <laughs> <laughs> so you're scared of your own shit? Huh? Are you scared of your own shit? No, I think it's just like a phobia. Like I don't like people to know that I'm shitting. So yeah. I was at a... Yeah, because you're there. loud. I've heard you. I've been standing outside your house and heard you in here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he can't use his own bathroom. It's <laughs> like leaning forward, hands against the shower door, like. Ah! <laughs> so 
So we went to Rooster's uh, Waterfront last uh, Saturday. <laughs> yeah. And uh, dude, I want to go to Rooster's now. Dude, what Rooster's? Good? Well, we were we were leaving, and I went in. And I was like, I'm gonna take a, gotta go take a piss. So I'm like standing there. It's like I don't know if this dude waited till somebody came, or if he was like do the thing that you just like fuck. I, I gotta go. Like I gotta do it now. <laughs> and so I'm like sitting there taking a piss, and and she like, <laughs> I was like, because <laughs> I like to make things up. I was like, nice. <laughs> 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 so I'm still sitting there pissing that I ripped some ass. I was like, all right. <laughs> <I> just left. <laughs> now, do you ever, like, look at their shoes so you can watch and see who they are when they come out? I'm judging. <laughs> right? Make eye contact with them and just, like, nod to them, like, nice. <laughs> nice. Dude, I had, I'm pretty sure I talked about this before, but I was coming back from Salt Lake City, dude, and I had to shit so fucking bad. And I ended up passing a porta body, which a porta, I was, body? A porta potty, <laughs> which I was going too fast to stop. Part. Yeah, and there was nowhere to like turn around on the highway, so I think it was Donnelly I made it to. And I get in the bathroom and I'm like, please be nobody fucking in here. And I get in there and thank God there's no one in there. And I get down, I sit down, you know, have that first initial go, but I still have to shit. And then like somebody walks in, and I'm like. So just like, hopefully they just piss, wash their hands, and leave so I can finish. I don't give a fuck if they wash their hands. Just leave. Yeah, yeah. Just <laughs> fucking go. And I'm waiting. And then somebody else comes in. And then somebody else comes in. And I mean, it fucking stinks bad, too. So like, I'm sure everyone in there smelled it. And it's like, there's a fucking line for this stall. I still got a shit, but I can't fucking do it. And I was like, son of a bitch. So I just like, I had the main... Off. I had the main pressure off, so, you know, I just wiped and fucking got out of there. Just cursing everyone fucking waiting for that. Like, enjoy that fucking smell, asshole. Dude, you're literally that guy. <coughs> I am that guy. So would you be better off, like, shitting on the side of the road? Yeah, that would like, be... Like, if you had to pull over and, like... Depends. Like, if there's a sweet spot I can do, but... What, what would you do if you were me when I went camping? I oh, would have made it to the fucking toilet. No, I didn't no, make it shit to over the, the toilet. Shit I would have made it to the toilet seat and shit down the toilet. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm the type of person where I've hunted my whole life, so, like, shit in the woods is a lot easier than finding a public toilet. For some reason, I don't like public toilets. I lie right there, sit there and do my squats. And... I gotta have the toilet for the drippies. <laughs> I've I've used uh I've used my bucket twice in the in the rotor rooter van. Not a fan, but <laughs> my, my you wife... just reverse it and blow the shit out. <laughs> I come home, I come home and I got my sleeves cut off and shit because I got my hunting knife, so I have to cut my sleeves off and stuff. She's like, oh, looks like you had to shit in the woods again. I'm like, yep. <laughs> missing so, a sock, dude. That's so hot. Yeah, yeah. Do you smell your sock. fingers afterwards? Because you know that goes through that. Mm-hmm. Permeates. <laughs> yeah, don't know. I go back, go back straight to hunting after that. Then that's why you're supposed you to use your shit? underwear. That's why they have the stretchy band. You fucking I find some moss. <laughs> yeah. So my it uncle, I think I said moss. this on the show. My uncle back in the like fuck fifties or sixties was shitting in the woods and he just grabbed leaves, wiped his ass with leaves, and it was actually fucking poison oak. <laughs> Leaves of three. Dude, my dad said he was hurting unit. I bet. Fuck. That's the last place you want a poison to be is on your fucking <laughs> asshole and taint. What do you do? Don't get this on your butthole. Why? <laughs> yeah. It's all just rubbing together. Yeah. Fuck, dude. That's I that's rough. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds nice. Fucking ouch. Imagine going to Taco Bell, but times ten. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So Taco now- Bell doesn't have a hot enough hot sauce to really make a difference anymore. Yeah. It's not the sauce. <laughs> So I never carried a backpack. I haven't hunting, had a but solid shit in years. So. I, yeah. d- I do now, and it's always got at least one that's, or two that's rolls from all the paper anal sex, in it. So. Yeah. You need to get a bidet. Oh. Maybe I'm tired of wiping my you actual ass dude, cheeks oh. and not just the hole. I gotta get a, I gotta get a new one, but dude, bidet is where it's at. I tried talking these guys into it. Oh, dude, like you want to save your butthole from like the butthole soreness, dude. I'm, yeah. You get that thing just. I'm just gonna go get the sprinkler and like <laughs> just a set little, it little in the piece. And you're just like, all right, let me get dry. Let's How do you not have like shit splashes all over the bottom of your ass and from what a bidet? Yeah, because I mean the you angle's know, pretty fucking. Amazing. It's a think about this. Think about like, this. Like when it's you a burn. Direct hit. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, but that, that hits the hole, but then, like, it still fans out and then bounces off. I mean, you know when you pee in the toilet, well, it splashes up and wet. out. Like, yeah. All I know is when I you find You do take a, toilet paper and, like, clean up. After when I know. find a toilet that has a bidet, I'm just going to go get, like, brown food coloring and put it at the back of the toilet and push the button so it squirts out. <laughs> like somebody shit all over the wall. <laughs> 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 and I'm sure by food coloring you just mean your shit. I'm just, I'm just saying a little bit of red. <laughs> I'm just saying, do not knock the bidet until you try it. <clears throat> do you have one in your house? No, I no. really didn't. Want, you just uh, remodel your whole bathroom. No, I, I, really I did try a bidet it. once at a friend's, not after shitting, but he was like, "Dude, you guys got to try this." I think Corey was there. Yeah, before. I was there. And we all just like took our turn trying it. Yeah, like it was really awkward. <laughs> Yeah, but, but it was nice. But when you think about like <laughs> how much time you spend like wiping when you're like, oh, is it clean? And then you're like, if you have yeah. some bad days of like, I got to shit four or five times. Like, <laughs> yeah. And then you're like, oh, this is why. Yeah. yeah. The first time I go in the bathroom and there's a dude in there with the fucking turkey baster full of water. It's like, <laughs> I'm not shitting. So it's not like that. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's a little nozzle. It hooks in your yeah. water and you go. It's, it's got a squirt right gun. <laughs> Yeah, basically is what it feels like. Well, my father-in-law is like, dude, don't turn it up to number eight. He goes, leave it at four, bro. I like ramp it in. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> if you want the deep colon clean. Yeah, and you can get them, you can get them for like 80 bucks yeah. and put them on your toilet. It's, uh, it's number eight, like for when they're like, dude, hurry up, I got a shit too. And it's like hanging half out of your ass. You just ramp it up and cut the turd in half. It's like a water jet. <laughs> cut, cut the turd in half. I'm pretty sure that's for when you want to do an enema, but don't want to go to the Walgreens to buy that enema kit. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You just hit that hole and it just fills your insides with water yeah. and then just. As weird, as weird as that would be, I bet you would feel so good after getting a fucking water in. I bet girls use that. They probably hop on like the you're toilet like 15 backwards. 15 pounds lighter. I, I just, bet girls hop oh on God, the I'm toilet. So <laughs> they hop on the toilet backwards and then they turn it up to 10 so they don't have so to douche have, anymore. It just fucking. So, so there's, there's two different things. Like it's a different angle of spray. So they actually do make some of that. <laughs> 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 oh fuck! This is Trigger podcast, and we do approve of the bidet. <laughs> I don't. If your wife doesn't come out of the bathroom, just know it's doing what you're not. <laughs> That's why I don't get a bidet. I don't want to be compared to a bidet for sexual preference. <laughs> She's got both angles. Yeah. <laughs> Just sitting there, like, watching your show and here. Oh, yeah. Coming from the bathroom, like, fuck. All the knobs are broke off your toilet. She's got it cranked up past eight. It's like right? Time. There's, like, there's, like, fucking finger grips in the toilet seat. From... <laughs> oh, no, Mr. Cooley. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> How am I supposed to compete with that shit? Right. <laughs> Just like next time you're in the bedroom, you like fill your mouth with water and you're like. <laughs> 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 oh, I thought this is how you liked it. I did the thing. <laughs> I, I did the thing. Oh, fuck. Oh, I fuck. didn't do the thing. Huh? I didn't do the thing. Uh, <laughs> I don't see you putting in much effort on that front anyway. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Do you believe in going down on your wife? Sometimes. Sometimes? Come on, no. Seriously? Sometimes. Not every time? No. Never. Hmm? Never? No. <laughs> <laughs> why have I been divorced so many times? <laughs> I've only been divorced three times. Is that why? <laughs> uh, yeah. Probably doesn't know. <laughs> no, only twice. <laughs> <laughs> Working on a third? Soon third. <laughs> Tonight. <Yep. laughs> this is the last straw. <laughs> I love it. I love it. You like it when she licks your butthole? Well, it depends. <laughs> <laughs> a that's, a, that's a no-no zone for me. <laughs> me too. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Ooh, <jig-a-boo. laughs> like maybe if I took some magnesium citrate and cleaned the entire system out and then like fucking scrubbed it good, maybe. That's what I'm that's saying what... is like if you went and got like a full like water enema cleansing, colonic like, col- yeah, like hydrocolonic, <laughs> you're coming out 15 pounds lighter, feel like a thousand bucks. Your butthole's just like pristine. You know what? The only thing that sucks about this is like if I do that shit. <clears throat> I'm going to immediately go and get, like, fucking eat two large pizzas and some pasta. <laughs> You're like, get off my ass. Get off my ass. I'm about to fill you up. It's just, gre- it's just grease in the walls, and it has nothing to stick to. It's right. Just- <laughs> You're like, oh, this is good. Oh. It's not even died, dude. This is a fucking pizza crust. I'm an hour what? away from home. <laughs> you swallow entire pizza crust? Oh, fuck. <laughs> So I was having that conversation at work the other day about like, when, or actually I think we were we were eating at the Chinese restaurant up in Moscow, <laughs> Iron Walk, and uh, we're like, so like, when's the last time you shit your pants, <laughs> dude? And I was thinking about, I was like, you know what? It was at work. <laughs> it's one of those like, oh, okay, I can get this, I can get this, and what is? And doing that because you always turn towards me oh, and okay. it cuts out. <laughs> well, Corey doesn't say anything, so I kind of. <laughs> you're good. You're good. Fuck you this way. <laughs> um, but I was like thinking about it. I was like, you know what? It, it was at work because I was sitting there and I was like, I can trust this fart. And it's like, oh. <laughs> and you go and use a different toilet because you got to throw away your underwear <laughs> in the trash can. <laughs> Flush you're like, <laughs> please stay. Or try. Please, I hope you stayed in the underwear and didn't like leave a gooch on my pants. <laughs> oh, no, no, exactly. <laughs> you're like, okay, pinch it. Do the little butt waddle over there, and then you're like, all right, please, didn't bleed through, didn't bleed through, didn't bleed through. <laughs> <laughs> but then the guy I was, I was having. I'm that. really surprised because you wear some tight pants. I do. Sometimes. I got a big ass. You do. <laughs> <laughs> that ghetto booty. Yeah. But a uh, guy, uh, the guy I was eating, they're having lunch, and he's like, you know what? I'm glad I'm not the only one. I shit myself at work, dude. <laughs> you gotta save your shit underwear with the with the stain. Put them in a bag, and then when somebody makes you mad, you're, you're no better. Leave, leave, leave them, shit the shit stain. Leave them guys, under there. Have you guys ever pissed the bed? Yes. When I was like at high 12. school, <laughs> I, I know high school got so fucked up. I pissed the bed. Yes, dude. So. I, don't, I shit you. I don't know. think I have. I don't think I've oh, ever. Oh, dude, yeah. We were we were <clears throat> beer bonging like fucking a shit ton of beers. Then I passed out. I had all that beer and I was so drunk. I woke up. The bed was wet. I'm like, motherfucker. Somebody pissed my pants. <laughs> <laughs> no, so this was like a week and a half ago. <laughs> <laughs> Shay, you not. So I, you know, we were drinking that night, but it wasn't. It wasn't that. Anyways, I was sitting there, and I don't dream. I don't remember my dreams, but I remember this. And in my dream, I was, like, standing in the middle of this road, and I just start peeing in the road. And all of a sudden, I fucking knew. I was in bed, and I was peeing in the bed. And I was like, I fucking woke up, and I'm like, what the fuck? (laughs) What did the wife say? Huh? What did the wife say? Well, I told her in the morning. I I went to the bathroom and because I caught myself just oh before you because those are the ones like, yeah, those are the ones where you gotta yeah. piss for like five minutes because you oh, got so oh yeah dude deep. I pissed yeah. for fucking yeah. ever but like it was yeah. crazy because I don't I've never had that with a dream but I I vividly remember standing in the middle of the road taking a piss and then it was just like you're in bed <laughs> pissing and I was like oh fuck. No, Man, I, I didn't piss much, but I jumped up and I fucking never, ran to so the bathroom. You've never pissed. had a dream where you're pissing, or you haven't done one where, you're, like, <coughs> you you woke, you knew. I I haven't pissed my bed since I was a kid. Well, I always have those dreams. I just I know that I'm like, hey, fuckhead, you're asleep right now. <laughs> yeah. I always, I always wake. I always have to pee in the middle of the night, so I always wake up and I go pee. Yeah. I've never had it where I dreamed I was doing it. And in all honesty, I've, though, I've got a similar story when I was when I was young, way younger. Um, oh yeah, like yesterday, like, like twelve. <laughs> yeah, well, I had last a, weekend. Yeah. <laughs> I, in my room, I had a like an old school desk, you know, with the lift up lid and everything. Oh yeah, fuck yeah, it's good. Well, to pee. I was dreaming that I went to the bathroom and lifted the lid and was peeing in the toilet. <laughs> I was standing on the chair and yeah. lifted the lid, was peeing in the desk. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I said this on the, I said this on the podcast before, but there was the girl I dated, remember, in the apartments down the street. But it is a two-story apartment, and like I, I stary, 
the story. But I was probably, I probably only dated her like a couple weeks. And I was staying the night with her. And then she said I got up and there's a bathroom upstairs. And I walked halfway down. She's like, where are you going? And she's like hollering at me all the way down. And I turned around, looked at her and just pulled it out and started pissing on the stairs. Yeah, she was like. She goes, you pissed on the stairs. I'm like, no, fuck, I didn't. And she's like, everyone yeah. had to tell you. There's that like, you did. there's like four towels on the stairs when you go downstairs <laughs> right? in the morning. I'm like, oh. That's what I did. I just laid a towel in the bed on it and went back to sleep. <laughs> but yeah, I don't remember having any dreams though uh, on any of those. I was just that drunk. I yeah, guess, but. it was that was the craziest. The the yeah. the instant like realization was crazy. I it was just like. Like being sucked out to present time, like no. I probably have a, a a dream that I'm pissing like three or four times a week. Yeah, yeah. But that's what wakes me up. I'm like, I, I guess God, I've had that too. I, I, I dream that I'm about to yeah. pee, and then I wake up and I have to pee. Because like you're like every, the whole fucking dream, you're trying to find a bathroom or something, but you don't get any relief. <laughs> you're like, I should probably wake up. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, dude. I yeah, I've never had. I don't. I just don't have those dreams, but. You just like play too passed out. Dude. What the fuck was no. that? Sorry. Phone's getting hot. No, it's a stupid timer. Oh. For the oven. Yeah. How's he say? How long has it been in the oven? <laughs> I'm not playing. <coughs> keep fun. going. Fuck. Well, oh. Jesus Christ. I didn't know we got my to buddy, keep the show going. Got my buddy James. He's probably going to hate me for this, but <laughs> I think like three months ago, fucking James is over at my house, and we got all like super duper fucked up, and then he went back to his lady friend's house, and he told me he just like, or she woke him up, and he was like, just peeing on the wall. <laughs> like not even in anything, just like, or a closet or a wall or something like that. Oh, shit. I've done it in the closet. I had a, a roommate that... Um, another like he had uh he was super fucking drunk and like ended up in somebody else's room and was like pissing in the, his bottom sock drawer yeah <laughs> <laughs> like we get the guys like trying to like dude what the fuck are you doing so my buddy well brad i don't know <laughs> anyway i guess uh my my daughter and his daughter are best friends we're, we're in school or whatever and that we all go partying one night fucking hammered and uh he went down into her, the the basement, into the daughter's bedroom, and just goes in the corner and just starts peeing in the corner, and and the daughter's like, "What are you doing, Brad?" And he's like, "Oh fuck," and then he just leaves or whatever, and they la- they thought it was hilarious. So like, "Oh fuck ah," next morning found him naked as shit out in the fuck front lawn. Start <laughs> <laughs> Nice. <laughs> I thought you were saying you guys were trying to do the swaps. No, like, no, no. You take my daughter, I'll take no, yours. No, no, no. no. Ah. no. That was a they, dude, they were a in whole they series. Were still, like, they were still like junior it's high, daughter, small high school. And yeah. you were partying with them? I was, yeah, I was over at his house. We were drinking beer, and then we went to the bar, closed down the bar. Oh, I thought back. you were all partying together. No, no, no. She just happened to stay the night with his daughter. Oh. And then we all went to the bar, went partying and then shit. And he didn't wake up for work the next morning. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, it was work night. And uh, so I swing by his house in the garbage truck, like go in there, knock on the door. He doesn't answer. I go up to his bedroom. He's just like starfished in his bed. I'm like, dude, bro, dude, you got to get to work. He's all, what? Get to work and cover up real quick. (laughs) Start jerking him off. (laughs) Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. I had the weirdest dream last night. No one ever sends Robert to wake me up (laughs) if I don't come in. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. I've only done that like twice. The tickle of his goat beard. That was funny. Wouldn't that be nice? No, that was a a different party night. That's right. Yeah. My bad. Because he woke up in the yard in the yard naked. He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> birds and shit chir- chirping. He got birds in the house. You never woke up in the yard? No, I've never have. Why? Because I'm an adult. <laughs> <laughs> I can find I, my bedroom. I pissed my own bed, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't drink like that anymore, man. I like I get I get to the point where I'm like, shut her down. Nah, dude, it's bed. fun. You gotta like 
do the more, like do more. Do do the a lot more. And then you're like, oh fuck, that sucked. Like <laughs> the ground out here, this fucking dog turd was not a good pillow. <laughs> Dude, anytime Dude, I, I should have chose the softer one. <laughs> Dude, I'm forty two. Anytime I do the more, it turns into like a two day recovery. <laughs> yeah. Fuck that shit. Like it's no joke too. It's probably like, the fuck. best times are when you like drink so much that you just like you can't move. You're like fucking. <laughs> oh, fuck. and then I just hate it when you bang go your and... head on the ground. Like, You're just oh, like fuck. fuck it. I need to go to bed, and you lay down in bed, and it's just like. No, mm-hmm. oh, dude, that's the worst. <laughs> did Al- did Alex tell you about the last man she drove with me to Tri Cities? Uh huh. So I drank. A, I bought a nice bottle of bourbon to to take for the sectional. Well, I. Went to taste it and I drank it. <laughs> 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 and then I had half a bottle of rum. Jesus Fuck, dude. So the next the next morning I'm driving. Uh, it's like five a.m. So I'm I'm driving out of my uh, the alley. <coughs> I come around the the corner and I look at Alex because it was him and Wayne. And I was like, "One of you guys gonna have to drive." Because I'm way too fucking drunk to be driving right now. Dude, that's... And then we went and shot. <laughs> was that one of the times you DQ'd? No. no. <laughs> I didn't DQ that day. May- let's say, maybe that's your new thing. Yeah, I know. Maybe you and Tri-Cities aren't a good match. Probably not. It's so far away, too. Right? It's such a boring fucking drive, too. <laughs> and it's in Washington. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Are those over 10 round capacity magazines? Well, fuck yeah, dude. I don't shoot competition to change 19 times during a match. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, technically, they were Washington legal because they were Bob when I was a Washington resident before July 1st. <laughs> right. So, what are you saying? Like, if you're from Idaho, you can't have more than 10 rounds? No, you can take them there. You can have them with you. You just. So for the competition, shoot Who only. Knows? Yeah. And honestly, there's tons of people in Washington. They didn't ban them. They banned the future, you know, the sale yeah. of them. So if you already had high-capacity magazines Uh-oh. before that okay. mandate, you're fine. I got you. That's high. 12. Just two more. Ten. <laughs> Is it 10 or 15? Huh? 10 or 15. I'm pretty sure it's 10. That's fucking gay. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, surprised they didn't make it nine, so you could only buy a three round mag instead of because <laughs> <laughs> nobody makes a nine. <laughs> right? You know, the only the thing five, that's going to make me want to do is just be like a super crack shot and then just go kill somebody with one bullet. <laughs> Still got nine left, bitches. Yeah. <laughs> Guess that worked out well for you. <laughs> They've never seen my reloads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> No, it's for more information on fast reloading, please visit johnhedlandshooting.com. So, th- nobody knows about yes. you guys. You guys ever heard about the tower shooter? Fuck uh, tower shooter. Tower shooter. Texas tower shooter. Mm. He's in. I want to say. Is this Waco, Texas? No, 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 no. It was before Waco, but I can't. Was remember. he doing drugs? I can't remember. No. Or was I, he on dude, a tower? Listen here, fuck faces. <laughs> But he, he went up to the clock tower in a college campus. Yeah. Bolt, bolt action That's, rifle. Isn't that the, the and he DC guy? Dro- he dropped more people than you could with a fucking... He was more accurate. I know I've so heard he, about... His kill ratio was way higher he would, than he, it was would have been with the fucking AR, whatever, just fucking throwing out... Wasn't he out using there. just like a generic as shit? Like 30-06, 30 30 six, fucking 30-06 yeah. open sights, fucking the whole works. Yeah. Just picking people off. And he went up to this tower and... I can't remember what tower it is. It's, it's like a fucking their big like uh, clock tower. Clock tower. Thing. It was in yeah. a college campus, just picking yeah. people off. And then the police couldn't because he had a he had it locked the lid locked down, so they couldn't get up there to get to him. And they finally they finally smoked his ass. But I think it was another sniper got him. So I think is what happened. But I could be wrong. <clears throat> but yeah, that's what you See, know. I mean, everybody fuck around and find out. I'm a rocket launcher. That fucking tower. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> But you know I'm surprised what? they didn't burn it down. But high capacity, <laughs> that's the way to do it. That's what they high do. High capacity <laughs> magazines is fucking what, killed, what kills more people. I'm like, this motherfucker dude would literally, I would a lot rather have somebody just spraying and praying than somebody with a fucking sniper rifle on me. You know what I mean? Then locked and loaded on me. Dude, fuck that, dude, because you're it's over. It says that uh, in 1966, he yeah. stabbed his mom and his wife. 
to death the previous night, and then Charles Whitman, a Marine veteran, took rifles and other weapons to the observation deck. So what, where was he, it at? He chose a uh, the University of Texas. Texas. <laughs> huh? University of Texas okay. in, uh, in Austin. How many and people did he kill? Uh, in 96 minutes, he shot and killed 14 people, including an unborn child, and injured 31 other people. That's wow. a twofer. And it said the so incident ended <laughs> when two policemen and a civilian reached Whitman and shot him dead. Yeah. So that's what I'm, <clears throat> that's what I'm saying. But nobody, everybody thinks he didn't. Have, I don't think he. I don't think he ever had a like an AR type weapon. Says, well, Armalite was it says, just starting to produce. Yeah. It says a, a Remington 700, which was a six millimeter uh, universal M1 carbine. Uh, Remington model cal. 141 35 cal, Sears model 60, uh, so a, a semi auto 12 gauge. What uh, Smith- you've named like 17 different guns there. That's what it says. It says <clears throat> a Smith and Wesson 357. Uh, a, so he had an arsenal up there, uh, yeah. That's what it, it that's says. What it says a Luger yeah, probably because they had a ban on high capacity mags, so he just took a number of guns. It was 65. 65 guns? 1965. Then I have a ban on I'm being sarcastic. Sarcastic. <laughs> I'm being sarcasm. It says he even took a fucking machete. Yes. <laughs> and a, but, a 25 ACP. But what I'm saying is, <clears throat> I mean, but yeah, he had an arsenal up there. I'll give him that. But still, dude, come on. I don't know. Anyway. That's a good if you're wanting to kill, you can kill. <clears throat> there's a guy, there's a guy... Who ran down fucking people down the middle of the fucking street in a fucking U-Haul van? You know, if you're wanting to end somebody's life, you could end somebody's life. Uh, yeah, just I get so tired of the tool being like, like it's not like if somehow you managed to remove guns from every person in America, which good luck. But let's just say you did. What do you think? Everyone's just gonna be like, oh fuck, I guess I don't have the desire to kill anyone anymore. Fuck no, that yeah. doesn't go away. People could kill you with them. You'd be walking down the street and come up behind you and not even know and stab you in the back. You know, right? I'd use a deal. fucking sword. I'd just start fucking <laughs> mowing people down. Just start fucking machete and their heads Way off. More. Huh? Way more sword. I got this. Fucking just throw Molotov cocktails into groups of people. Right? Shit. For the lots FBI of shit. agents listening, this is all hypothetical situations. Brought yeah. to you by Zatarans <laughs> and Uncle Benny's Rice. <laughs> Straight Garbage Podcast does not endorse the violent killing or malicious injury to any person on the planet. Unless they deserve it. Yeah. Unless yeah. it's Putin. Yeah. <laughs> or, you know. <laughs> do, do what you will. What was the other Like, Slavas, Ukraine. <laughs> what? What is that, a moth? Yeah. Oh, no. There's one up there. Would you would you get would you get written down in your phone? You have any drunk notes? I don't know. I haven't been drinking, so probably not. So what's the real reason your sleeping schedule's all whacked out? I got they made they made uh, pot smoking shaped candies. Pot smoking shaped. So candy. they made yeah candies in the shape of a pot, and you could actually smoke pot in it, and then just eat. like a shape of a joint. No, like like a, a, a like pipe, a little a pop. Pipe. Oh, like pop a pop pipe, a candy pipe. Yeah, and then you fucking eat it when you're done. <laughs> <laughs> I bet that would taste like ass. Like, I don't know. The fucking f- eat the evidence. <laughs> <laughs> Just resin and. <laughs> I guess it depends how much you smoke out of it. Do you want to buy some pot? Uh, I have some pot in my shed. All right, yeah, I'll buy it. Cool. How much is it? I don't know. How like much, how, how many much fingers in the bag? How much does a pot go for? Yeah. How much how much is pot? <laughs> how many pots is this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, two I got two pots for ten dollars. Two pots. <laughs> <laughs> I will take one pots, please. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> Sounds attractive. It is. So we have a deuce of the week. Hot, hotter than oh, yeah, a hooker to weenie roast. Yeah, we should probably do that, huh? 
Jay's got a good douche of the week. I got a great douche. Oh, of the yeah, week. that's right. Let's hear it, Jay, son. So here's the deal. We're, we're changing it up. We're not going to name anybody that we work with anymore. Yes, we are. <clears throat> Is that we're unless they're a really really good douche. I'm going too. But uh, we decided. Hey, knock it off, bro. You got my chew can, dude. It's big. You got my chew can. Told you. See, look at it. <laughs> Do not think hey, it's big around? Hey, like, stand <laughs> point. You guys can fucking fondle each other after the show. It's fucking Robert, man. Anyway. You want to. You need to be more stern with your nose. So what we're going to start doing this with the, from now on, we're no. going to start uh, finding people online, whoever's a fucking dude. Somebody y'all can relate to instead of the dumbasses we work with. I got with. one. <laughs> fucking Robert. That, that one guy that everybody oh, hates. God damn it, dude. Robert. And now Josh. Wow. Dude. <laughs> Wow. Okay, Josh is I'd definitely so a for that one. That's what, what you, you get for fucking having nail fingers. <laughs> fucking you smashed every one of your fingers with a goddamn nice. hammer. <laughs> Did you do that Last on purpose? Week I spilled it on the board. <laughs> <laughs> Here, somebody take these. Josh has dwarf hands. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, nem- I'm gonna size. nominate. Uh, <laughs> what is Josh. is his name? Christian Schlitt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Although I did see in a post today, he did finally recognize the fact that he has chicken legs. Yeah, he never does leg day. Who's yeah. this guy? He's on Facebook on a, uh, on a garbage thing, and he's just always like in front of a mirror, like doing this. He takes bathroom selfies all day instead of actually yeah. working. Mm. They call yeah. him Thrower McJesus. No, I think he calls himself that. Yeah. That's... Well, everyone else is also calling him Thrower yeah. McJesus. So. Why? I don't think it's. A good why? I think it's a. I think it's because his butthole just takes all the throws that makes from sense. his coworkers. Yeah, that's why his last name is should, Schlitt. Should call him Thrower McCatcher's Mitt. <laughs> <laughs> or some shit. I don't know. Anyways, In Jay. So, <clears throat> so I don't know if you guys hear any of the stories about that lake, uh, yes. Lake Erie, the the two fishermen that uh, got caught cheating doing. Uh, <laughs> What's up, Josh Jr.? <laughs> Got caught cheating in that fishing tournament. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh, yeah. With the fucking lead weights and shit, shoving down the fucking gullets of the fucking fish. And they and they had and they had a uh fillets from other fucking fish that they shoved down their throats too. So not only did well, they Well, that might one that one might be believable because I mean sometimes fish like to fillet other fish before they eat them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But these two motherfuckers, dude, look like, <coughs> they may have won too, like anyways, like without fucking. They cheating. would have, yes, they would have won it without the fucking weights. Dumb. And <clears throat> really, they, I didn't hear that. Yeah. yeah. So they weighed. They weighed. Uh, <laughs> Sixteen pounds was uh, number second place. They weighed thirty three pounds, and after they added up all the flays and the weights, that was eight pounds. So it would have been twenty five pounds. So they still would have won. They still would have won. Wow. And fucking lost everything, dude. They lost their... Dude, their, their, their What'd you say they were going to win on that, that they, tournament? It, well, if they would have won the year, which that was the tournament they, that was going to say they won the year or whatever, yeah. was 300000 and a brand new bass boat. But how much had been had they been cheating leading up to that that's, point that's, to win that's the year? That's what everybody's saying. You know? Dude, I saw some of the fucking... Like, the out, like right when that shit happened, like, I thought they were like, like fucking kill them! <laughs> <laughs> the, the mob was real. I was like, this is big. Fucking weights and fish, and next thing you know, dude, is crowd. How'd they like, find it? How'd they not- grab the so, lint rope? <laughs> yeah. So I guess like the all the other competition, they've been like, dude, he's catching the same amount of fish or weight, same size fish that we got, but his fish is always heavier. I got you. The last tournament, they're like, all right, fuck it, let's cut him open, cut him open, and found fucking lead. We're talking Big, eight yeah. to ten ounce weights, dude. Just fucking. He uh, snapped the line. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I caught him three times. Yeah. Dude, it is fucking nuts. And like, I'm, I heard they're they're facing felony charges and like all kinds of shit. Like for like it, intent but, to deceive or some shit. Well, like it's that. like you're stealing money from the. It's whole, fraud. Yeah. It's some yeah. sort of fraud. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I wonder though if you could lawyer up and argue because their fish were heavy enough anyway to win it. So technically, while they did try, I bet a lawyer could get them off. But it, while they did technically try to cheat, yeah, 
they yeah, they're like, already they're lawyer, lawyer anyway. They you still won't get deal. the money because it would. It, they're probably in the rules, obviously. Like, but I bet they, I bet they can get off. Oh, unless it's yeah, not in that, the rules, and then that with a lawyer that shit. Like it doesn't say, and I can't put lead in my fish. <laughs> yeah, <it laughs> I would. Just, I would just tell them that I was when you can break into somebody's house. Fall through their skylight, injure yourself, and sue the people. Yeah, yeah. lawyers can get away with fucking anything. Yeah, <laughs> but I, I'll, I'll, I would just tell them that I was fishing with a magnet, and those fish had already just eaten the lead, the weights. No, <laughs> I'm trying to think. Okay, of it's not my fault. Somebody else <laughs> stuffed weights in these exactly. fish, yeah. Yeah. and then I caught them. Yeah. What if you go down there and you just shove weights in the fish and hope you get lucky just like catch them shove weights in them or put another them little fish like it ate a perch. I bet there's a <laughs> lot of unless there's video of them showing them actually stuffing the fish with weights yeah I'm sure you could get away with it yeah but dude it just, okay, here's the deal though those, I'm not saying they didn't do it those I mean, guys are fucked they did, but they, they're gonna lose all their sponsors they're gonna lose uh, even if they do get away with it they'll never be invited to another fucking uh, fishing yeah. tournament they're fucked. They're lo- that's what they do for a living. Somebody's probably gonna kill them. Oh, Maybe. dude, they're they're the guy the guy that runs the tournament oh, was there? like the guy that runs the tournament I'm sure was like it was Minnesota. There's the, walleye tournament. Yeah, the guy that runs yeah yep yeah, the guy that runs the tournament goes listen, you guys fucking touch these two guys, you are done fishing in this league. Do not touch these fucking two dudes. And then they the next thing you know they met the cops. But yeah, I was like, fuck. That's dude. a lot of money. I Dude, mean, yeah. throughout the year and They're, everything, the, too. I, I, did you see the video of it? The people are fucking screaming. Yeah. Fuck you, motherfucker. I mean, like, it was fucking legit, dude. I was like... And that one the, the one partner, he bounced. He's gone. The only the one dude just stood there by himself. I'm like, what a piece of shit partner, man. He's just like... Honestly, I'd just be laughing. Like, 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 I'd just like, be yeah, laughing. Yeah, like, ha you, you could Fuck that guy. <laughs> It looks like uh, looks like Homer says somebody <laughs> bounces his <laughs> fucking <laughs> weeds. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's. See, if I was part of the people, I'd just be laughing like, "Oh my god, you fucking had to weigh your fish!" Like, I just, oh, man. I'd just be making fun of them. Yeah, and there, there's guys yelling, "You owe me money from last week, motherfucker!" <laughs> and, like, they're just going off, dude. I was like. So definitely douche of the weeks right there. Those guys deserve it. All right. So Fuck douche yeah. of the week, uh, walleye. I wish that Jake and Case, uh, Casey or Jake or walleye, something. Walleye, Great Lakes, Fisherman guys, yeah. Minnesota, whatever. Cheers. <laughs> Hold on. Gonna hit the fucking thing, dude. Well, after some mildly retarded reasoning, I do believe we have found our douche of the week. Raise your glasses, fellas. Yeah. Cheers to a new Damn, year. Damn, John, that almost looks like it. I know, right? Oh, should have had this. This is just apple cider. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Peer pressure. But, yeah. I don't know how those guys are going to... Re- they, they, I, honestly, I don't think they can... Re- they ain't gonna recover from that. No way. Uh huh. They're gonna have to move. Dude, in like 15 years, I can see, like, see him moving over here to Coeur d'Alene Lake. You know, be yeah. like, just be some fishing guides. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'll show you how we catch him. <laughs> <laughs> the trick is to shove it up their asshole. <laughs> yeah. Nobody checks the asshole. <laughs> Did you, no, they're gonna did you come, see the video of it? They're going to come back with oh fucking liquid lead or something, like inside of a syringe and just start shooting up the yeah. fish. <laughs> this is the new Mercury. tungsten infused. Like, there's nothing in there. But is lead, is lead uh, can, like, a metal detector catch lead? Yeah. Is lead metal? I, mean, I don't know. Is it a different type of metal? I don't know. Well, it's different than, like, Well, every metal is different. Come on, guys. I'm being a serious. What? what <clears throat> how hard would that would it be if that's the case? How would that? They be don't call it a steel detector. They call it a metal detector. It okay. It'll detect gold. They should have used tungsten. You could have used way less. Right. Yeah, and but what I'm saying <laughs> is, why couldn't they? If that's the issue, expensive. why couldn't they get a like a hand wand and hand wand every fucking fish? And well, then like, you know, if there's metal, well, they, they can, but it's probably like only the first real like instance of that happened. happening. So now forever, they're like throw your fish on the ground. They're gonna get fucking TSA out there to <laughs> <laughs> probably actually. I got to check my asshole. Yeah. Then Josh is out there like 
wearing a shirt. You're gay if you're TSA. <laughs> that kind of <laughs> that kind of money though, three hundred thousand dollars. Plus a brand new bass boat. I'd be shocked if they didn't have like a fucking x-ray machine. I like how everyone acts like 300000 is a lot of money. After taxes, that's about one twenty-five, And then yeah, but split yeah. between two okay, people. The, the bass boat is a, at least a $100,000 bass boat. Uh, eighty to 100000 for a bass oh, boat. And how many, Good, how many did they boat. win throughout the year, too? Yeah. Who knows how much they won throughout the year? Because you have to assume that they were cheating the entire time. And I saw I saw something about they were only going to win 45000 on this one tournament. But then I saw other things where they're saying, well, if they won this tournament, they won the year, which is 300000 and a bass boat. So I'm seeing different things. I yeah. shouldn't be clear about that. I don't know 100% what's going on there. but Either way, they're douchebags. Yeah. Fuck. I'm going to do three hundred grand. when you cheat a little bit? <laughs> a little bit? <laughs> Josh, Josh should be like, fuck it. Take a note, motherfucker. <laughs> How does this 12 inch long wall at 47 pounds? <laughs> this is he's that fat. new tungsten infused model. He's fat. He's got a fat body on him. It's all fucking wedged out. Dense. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. Apparently this guy was eating eating metal. Yeah. yeah. It's not my fault he swallowed a bunch of shit. <laughs> Dude, that's I just think it's fucked though, but whatever. And they, See, I that's know. why I just fucking fill it with water in its mouth and then super glue its mouth shut so it all looks like a fucking blowfish. <laughs> yeah. Fucking just heavy as fuck. Yeah. And it's funny because they had a video of that guy like the, earlier that day. And he goes, I don't mean to sound arrogant, the guy that got caught. He goes, I don't mean to sound arrogant. He goes, but, you know, winners win. And we're going to win. <laughs> Literally earlier that day, dude, like, but... <laughs> yeah. it's almost like he had some inside information. <laughs> He's just like, <laughs> <laughs> what a piece of shit, dude. Oh my god. <clears throat> no, I don't know. That, that was a good one. Then I was like, holy fuck, douche of the week, right there. That was a good one. So, and and. This is Straight Garbage Podcast. We don't know all the details. So. String them up. I'm just going by what <laughs> Listen, I'm this, just going by. This is a highly opinionated show. We yeah. don't go for facts here. Yeah. I'm just going we by made what our, I heard We on made TikTok, our opinion right? on these, these guys. Yeah. According to Jay, they're pieces of shit. I just think it's a couple guys just trying to do what they do. Gee. Yeah. Gee. Dude, that one guy bounced, though. He fucking was gone. When they're like, are you fucking kidding me? You notice he's the only one standing there. His name was probably Jim Bob. That Jake guy was the only one standing there while they're, everybody's coming down on him. His partner's gone. I tell you this. He's everyone that was bounced. yelling at him for cheating and calling him a piece of shit, you better not have cheated on anything in your life. Dude, would you fucking wash your hands when you go do something? <laughs> I can smell it over here. Jesus. I just farted again after I shit. <laughs> <laughs> Stop saving your shits for my house. You just left an upper decker. <laughs> I will fucking kill you. It's an upper decker, lower decker, shower decker. <laughs> uh-huh. He got everything. <laughs> he that, sprayed it all. Is that one like a waffle stomp? Or... Yeah. Uh, Freezer decker. You keep talking your shit. We'll do this podcast at your house, bro. <laughs> He's like, good. We're going to drive across fucking state lines. You're right. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. When you drive across state lines, it clears your blood alcohol level. Uh-oh. You start over at zero. Is that how that works? Yeah. And then only <laughs> this only the shit you drink from the time Washington. you cross it's... the border. You just blew a one point two. It's like, well, to be fair, one point one of that is over in Idaho. I haven't seen <laughs> across state lines, so it's a good thing. Dude, it's a good thing we live in a fucking etch a sketch. <laughs> Right. Do you have jurisdiction in Washington? Didn't think so. So, Peace. <laughs> to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm a sovereign citizen. <laughs> and I identify as a fucking dolphin. Of course, my blood alcohol level's high. Like, there's all this mercury in me. Uh, fuck. Anyway, it, you got any... <laughs> you gotta, you gotta, no, I'm not some corn, he's got, Hey, do you have a would you rather? No. No. Do you guys remember when... <laughs> Here we go. 
Do you guys remember when I was telling you about Hefany? Yeah. Yeah. So I guess, so her, John probably doesn't know, but this girl's grandpa calls her Hefany and her name is Stephanie because she's all big. I found out. <laughs> does he, does he run cattle? <laughs> no. <Nope>. Just one. <laughs> Just one. Just <laughs> one. He's got a milk cow. That's a huge bitch. <laughs> yeah. I found out, uh, I don't know, like two weeks ago that. All the dudes call her the baby gobbler. <laughs> you did say that. Did last I? Last week. Yeah. <laughs> it's still funny, but we've heard it. Yeah. yeah. I don't remember. Hey, <laughs> have you guys seen that new show on Netflix? Yeah. Which, one, which one's that? Called Dahmer? No, how to make it. <laughs> <laughs> have you watched it yet, Josh? I have not. You need to. I won't. What's, you how, will. To, how to make a I sex won't. room? Yeah. Why? Oh, I'm gonna. Uh-huh. Have to, I'm gonna tell Jamie about it. Go ahead. I'm gonna have okay. the wife watch it tonight. Are you? Yeah. Why not? Because I only got two more days, so she probably make one while I'm gone. There you go, dude. Josh, do you know? <laughs> Actually, I guess you don't know. You weren't there today. Uh, Teresa got a new chair at work. Yeah, I, I did see that we had a new chair in our section. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I well, I looked in the window, and it looks like Teresa's chair is new. Um, I don't know who's going to smell it first, but I guarantee it smells like lady farts. Uh, okay. I tried to get more to smell it. He wouldn't. Yeah. He probably did after we left. There's a little divot. That's because he's only into no gloves. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. He loves the smell of that sweet. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, there's a little divot in the middle of the chair where she farted and it, like, blew the foam down. Yeah. (laughs) Jesus Christ. Yeah. I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> how, did, how did Mike do on Teresa uh, had no part by, in this. How did Mike sure. do on front load by himself today? Yeah, it sounded like he did all right. I don't know. He left at like 4.15, 4.20. What time do you usually get the Winco? Oh, uh, like 6. That's when he was there. Winco? Yeah. Like at 5.15, Winco. 6 o'clock. The mall. No, the mall. Oh, yeah, the, the mall. mall. Okay. Maybe five forty-five. I don't know. Yeah, that's when he was there. So yeah, that's normal then. I see him dump about eight. Well, it depends. If he I went by the route sheet, he's way behind. No, I gave I gave him a route sheet the way I do it. Oh. Yeah. And he dumped about eight fifteen this morning. Yeah, but he didn't do North Lewis. Too. Oh, he didn't. Uh, oh, what a fucking loser. Yeah. And he uh, was he was leaving Seekins and all that at like. It was after ten. Oh yeah, because. Uh, <laughs> Well, I'm normally uh, up there before nine. I got to, I got to the shop at nine thirty, and he was following me through, uh, yeah. heading up the Seekins and all that. I wonder what time he clocked out. I don't know. I didn't look. Hmm. Hmm. You know what happens? Now I got to do front load the rest of the week. Oh, you if, do. If yeah. you put in Mike's number and you just slap your dick right on the fingerprint scanner, it, it works. works. What? Yep. So you're. Your dick print's the same as Mike's thumb print? Yes. Uh, so is his thumb, but on your dick? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Yeah. And that's going to bring this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, John, for showing the up. Last, the awesome. last part of this show was brought to you by some fucking weird-ass shit. <laughs> is it never not? Well, like, there's weird shit, and then there's, like... Then there was that weird shit. There's yeah. some weird shit. <laughs> That just almost didn't have a point. I don't know. Stop. <laughs> it's Tuesday. We're off. Stop yeah. it. Get some Stop time. it. We're getting <laughs> off. All right. Thanks. I don't know. I think it's a hell of a show, though. So uh, thanks for joining the show, John. Hopefully, hopefully you will you be come more back. of a permanent part. <laughs> <laughs> Make your way over to straightgarbagepodcast.com. Get yourself some straight garbage merch. There you go. There you go. <laughs> like John did. Yeah. I did. I even paid for it. Whoa. Yeah. Really? I did. Wow. I did. <laughs> By the way, you still owe me 16 blowjobs. Yeah. <laughs> These two fuckers got to fight. For it. These guys got to fight soon. Why? He's only got one load left in him. <laughs> <laughs> Who told you? <laughs> you can have it. <laughs> <laughs> Corey's like, I've had the last 64 of them. <laughs> Josh is, Josh is one of the meager ones. Yeah. You hardly get to it. <laughs> right? Like, 
Corey, Corey would be all right if he wasn't just the same fucking thing every time. Yeah. Same old thing. Josh doesn't want me, though, because like, <laughs> my hands are too big. It makes everything look smaller. That's why, that's why I close my eyes. <laughs> you ever see the Whopper commercial? <laughs> the little it tiny looks, hands? It looks giant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of the... Straight Garbage Podcast. I we gotta shall... say it. Please like and re- like and share. Come on, guys. Like, share, review. Yeah. Something. Um, Do something. Yeah. yeah. Help us out, man. Fuck. So, <laughs> we like doing it. So, well, sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Way Anyways. to be convincing. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we'll see you guys next week. Peace out. Peace out, out guys. Later. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what was that? I don't know. I'm pretty hammered. I got warrants, man. <laughs> For what? <laughs> Jay Walsh. <laughs> <laughs>